Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So my name is Nova with the Nama Mobile Team. My matric number is I two zero one zero four five one two. And today I'm going to present about Jenggas JC Islamic Financial Industry. Ah, uh, first subject MIF six four two four is not going to be relevant to this class. So for the introduction, Islamic finance began three decades ago, but now has spread to investment banking, project finance, chemical mar capital market. Insurance, wealth management, and microfinance. So apart from that, Islamic financial industry has to buy wealth through many obstacles or challenges. So the changes in Islamic finance are very people look for in the market. Um, maknanya, uh, dalam kewangan Islam ni, pelbagai cawaran ataupun uh, bagi isu uh, orang mencari ataupun orang memang tengok orang perhatikan. So for the opportunities in Islamic finance are also popular in the Islamic financial market. The critical core and development in this industry depend largely on the nature of innovation in the introduced in the market. So the current development have is uh, have also influenced the industry to continue grow to the whole world. So um, development yang sekarang ni ah uh, dipengaruhi oleh ah uh, dipengaruhi oleh uh, kena setiap negara memang uh, tengah membangun tentang pasal Islamic finance ni bukan hanya orang Islam yang menggunakan ni tetapi orang bukan Islam juga menggunakan Islamic finance kerana dia tak ada faedah ataupun uh, mengikut garis panduan syariah kepelajaran dia memang uh, orang kata contohnya uh, dia punya keuntungan ataupun risk atau risk transfer dia sangatlah rendah banding uh, conventional bank ataupun conventional uh, finance financial. So next, there are two sections from the uh, article that I review, which is uh, first section improvement in the banking and capital market sector, and the second one is recommendations. So for the section one, improvement in the banking and capital market sector. There are six of it. Uh, first thing first is small assets and capital size the average the average size of the of the asset is still small compared to the conventional banks and the large institution have significant potential for uh, efficiency based due to economic of scale and scope organizational efficiency and lower cost of funding islamic banks are unable to get this benefit okay dalam um uh, Section pertama ini, uh, Islamic banking ataupun Islamic financial industry mempunyai uh, aset yang sedikit ataupun aset yang rendah sedikit berbanding daripada conventional bank ataupun conventional finance. Kerana um, Islamic banks ataupun Islamic financial institution ini dia tak dapat peroleh segala uh, benefit atau faedah yang uh, terdapat dalam conventional bank. Sebabnya, uh, conventional bank ni ataupun uh, Islamic financial ni dia mengikut syariah apa pelayan yang tidak uh, yang tidak mempunyai orang kata uh, sebarang faedah ataupun uh, kira-kira dia punya risiko dia tu rendah sebab tu dia tak dapat memperoleh ataupun dia tak dapat uh, apa yang ada dekat conventional bank ni Islamic bank ataupun Islamic financial tak dapat macam tu and uh, the second one, the liquidity. Operating with a limited set of short term traditional instrument and is a short age of products for medium to long term maturities. Like all markets in which to sell, create, negotiate financial asset of the bank. Liquidity is uh, tak kecairan dia. So tahap kecairan dalam Islamic banking atau Islamic financial industry ni sangatlah orang kata rendah. Uh, Sebabnya dia punya tahap kematangan, uh, tahap tempoh matang untuk tahap kecairan itu uh, dia agak sedikit rendah daripada conventional bank. Dan uh, dari situ kekuranganlah dalam uh, market untuk jual, untuk trade dan juga untuk nego uh, tentang financial asset ni di setiap bank. Next, uh, limited scope. So under development of equities markets and lack of Derivative markets, financial intermediaries play a critical role in the provision of Islamic financial services. 
and it required some bank to go beyond their traditional role as commercial banks and develop areas such as securities, risk management, and insurance. The changing global of financial landscape make Islamic banks required to do so because of making or in limited scope. So limited scope ni, um, dia punya scope tu tu sangat sangat limited terhad. Jadinya uh, Islamic bank ni atau Islamic financial industry ni dia tak boleh nak berkembang uh, macam mana conventional bank ni berkembang. Sebab itu uh, kalau Islamic bank ni uh, dia banyak mereka tentang insurans ni iaitu takaful yang kita panggil dalam Islam. Uh, conventional bank ni banyak tekankan tentang uh, saham ataupun benda-benda yang uh, Islamic bank tak boleh buat tapi Islam, uh, conventional bank boleh buat. Okay. Next, concentrated banking is based on uh, deposit and asset. Often concentrate on a few select sectors and avoid direct competition. Reflects a lack of diversification which increases their exposure to risk. Okay, yeah. Dalam uh, Islamic Bank ni, uh, concentrated banking. So, yeah, uh, concentrated uh, banking ni, uh, Islamic Bank ni, dia akan avoid sebarang uh, uh, competition yang kira-kira dia tak mampu untuk tandingi conventional bank. Uh, sebagai itu, dia kurang uh, expose kepada Uh, sebab risiko yang tinggi macam mana conventional bank boleh buat tapi Islamic bank tak boleh buat So number 5 weak risk management and governance framework weak international control processes may present operational risk and expose an Islamic bank to potential users Governance issues are equally important for Islamic bank, investor regulators and other stakeholders The role of Sharia board should bring the unique challenges to the government of Islamic financial institution. Maksudnya sini kelemahan daripada uh, pihak perusahaan untuk menguruskan risiko uh, dan uh, Islamic Bank ataupun uh, Islamic Financial ni sangat terdedah kepada risiko tersebut. Uh, kalau conventional bank ataupun uh, conventional finance, uh, financial dia tak terdedah kepada uh, risiko kerugian ni kerana dia ada unsur unsur riba. Jadi, kalau Islamic Bank ataupun Islamic Financial dia tak ada benda tu dan sebagai itu uh, syariah board dia akan uh, bantu dan dia akan tolong untuk uh, Islamic Bank ataupun Islamic Financial Industry ni uh, mengharungi cara, uh, cara, cabaran-cabaran tersebut So next, the last one is it's creating in theory and practice supposed to pass through in Financial intermediaries with the profit or loss on the asset side is passed to the investor depositors, which is we call depositors. The practice in uh, the practice is, uh, is different in both aspects, especially in risk trade instruments. Masih ini sini uh, practice ini disangka berbeza antara uh, Islamic Bank dan juga uh, Corporation Bank. Dia uh, contohnya, okay, kalau dalam Islamic, uh, Islamic Bank, kalau kita melabur ataupun uh, invest dalam bank sebut, kita akan, uh, kira risiko kerugian tu akan ditanggung oleh kedua pihak, which is uh, the bank, the bank and the customer. Tapi kalau commercial bank, hanya akan ditanggung oleh satu pihak sahaja risiko kerugian tu. Uh, jadi di situ, re-sharing atau re-transfer itu sangat-sangat berbeza bagi kedua-dua belah uh, kedua-dua uh, orang kata uh, conventional bank dan juga Islamic Bank. So next, the section 2 is recommendation. There are four of it, which is financial engineering. Second one is risk management and diversification. Third, non-bank financial services. And the last one is development of capital markets. So the first one is financial engineering involves the design, development, uh, implementation, implementation of innovative financial instruments and processes as well as the formulation of creative solution. Financial engineering also may lead to a new consumer type financial instrument, which is new security, new process or creative solutions to corporate finance problem, such as the need to, uh, such as the need to lower money costs, 
manage risk better or increase the return on investment. Financial engineering also, we introduced the new Sharia Acopetable product that enhance security, risk management and portfolio diversification. Maksudnya sini, uh, financial engineering ni akan uh, uh, lead ataupun membantu untuk uh, consumer type financial instrument, security yang baru, proses yang baru ataupun uh, suatu uh, penyelesaian masalah yang kreatif bagi membantu uh, financial uh, Islamic financial industry ini sepertinya mengurangkan uh, dana ataupun membantu untuk uh, mengeluarkan risiko itu ataupun menjadikan uh, walaupun risiko uh, itu uh, commercial bank boleh uh, tanggung ataupun boleh buat Islamic bank ataupun Islamic financial industry pun boleh juga dan uh, dia membantu juga untuk increasekan dari segi untuk return dalam investment. Next, risk management and diversification. Risk management and diversification need to realize that the importance of financial risk and management which is the risk due to the failure of control and processes. Maksudnya di sini, uh, risiko uh, pengusaha itu haruslah sedar bahawa dalam kewangan Islam ni atau Islamic financial industry ni Uh, perlu sedar pentingnya financial uh, risk itu dan juga management itu penting untuk kita cegah daripada uh, gagalnya ataupun berlakunya uh, setiap proses yang berlaku itu jadi gagal. Uh, dia kena sedar uh, penting untuk kita proses kena itu. Next, non-bank financial services. So in the future, the role of intermediation should be extended beyond its traditional setup. As Islamic financial institutions become more growth, the investor have grown significantly in size and importance. In a, Islam, uh, in a financial system, where securities market are under underdeveloped, which is the case of financial Islamic financial market, financial intermediaries have to provide a broader set of services including non-bank financial services. Maksudnya di sini, non-bank financial services tu uh, dia akan uh, dalam uh, masa yang, dalam masa-masa yang akan datang <coughs> tugas uh, bagi uh, Islamic financial institution dan juga tugas untuk uh, financial professional financial institution ni akan berkembang uh, sama-sama dan juga akan berkembang dengan lebih majunya. So, setiap uh, setiap uh, yang memberikan yang melabur, setiap pelabur mestilah tahu tentang dia punya kepentingan dia, dia punya risiko yang akan ditanggung dan sebagainya. The last one is the development of capital markets. Is well developed Islamic capital markets not only give benefit to borrowers and institutional investors but also can enhance the stability of Islamic bank, improve portfolio liquidity and risk management tools. So, development of capital market ni, uh, Islamic financial industry ni perlulah uh, stablekan. Uh, uh, kalau uh, kalau conventional bank boleh uh, stabilkan, boleh uh, kena boleh memberikan sebarang uh, sebarang faedah kepada commercial bank sama bank ni juga boleh menawar faedah sama macam commercial bank uh, i think that's all for me thank you so much